All right, guys. Well, it is cold outside. Actually, about 33 degrees right now, and that's not even the wind chill factor. But let's go ahead and open this garage and see what we got. Oh boy, what's behind the door? Well, guess what? We got a 2023 mower, an Ego mower that we're going to go over with you today. We're going to take a close look. I don't know if we're going to do some cutting. We'll find out. I'm not sure. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get the party started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, here is the brand new Ego 56 volt 21 inch self propelled mower for 2023. And we're introducing it to you, of course, in 2022. That's what the channel is about. We always try to give you the information ahead of time. Now, Ego has really put some thought into the new Ego 2023 lineup, to be honest with you. And you know what? If an LM 2135 SP and an LM2102 SP had a baby, well, guess what? It would be the model we're going to show you today. Look, it's all about value and quality. With the prices going up in the world today, Ego has made a more affordable mower lineup that has a mixture of features, and yet they're able to bring some of the prices down on some of the models. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Okay, so in this review, I will cover the unboxing so you get to see what's included. We're also going to take a detailed, close look to really see what's changed, has the design changed, what's been added, what's been removed. And then I am going to spend some time comparing this to all of the self propel models that Ego makes, because you might have one and you might want to know some of the differences. So let's move on. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Now I'm going to use my unboxing knife. I love this thing. So let me crack this open. And then, of course, we'll continue with our quick unboxing. But um, love that. So there it goes. Everything that you get with this brand new mower. Now, if you're new to our channel, keep in mind we are a detailed channel in most cases. And especially with these mowers, this is the 2023 model, one of the 2023 models. And I'm going to look at every crack and every crevice to tell you what has improved, what has changed, what's different. Okay. And uh, later on in the video, I will do a quick comparison on each of the self-propelled mower. But why don't we go ahead and take a quick look. So let's go ahead and see what's included here. Again, this is a three-in-one, right? So it's got a mulch. Uh, it's going to bag. And it's got a rear side discharge. So here is your bagger. All right. And uh, you do get in this specific kit a 6 amp hour battery. And it is the one with the fuel gauge. All right. So you get that in the box. You do get a 320 watt charger. So it's their newer charger that replaced the um, slower charger. Okay. And then you've got a rapid charger and a fast charger as an option. You do get your booklets for your battery, your mower, and your charger in here. You get the, you know, mulch plug, and that has been a little bit redesigned. Um, it did feel different. We'll talk about it. I'll show you it. And then, of course, the rear side discharge. And again, I, I see something different here as well. So we'll put this on. We'll check it out. We'll look at those little details and see what's different. But... We're going to go ahead and move forward and go over this more. All right, a little windy today, but we're going to go ahead and do our close look now. We're going to start off with the battery compartment. And, uh, you know, it, it's got a, a bigger, clearer plastic here, I noticed. Uh, when you put the battery in, you can actually see even better. So just uh, definitely a, a bigger one here. Now, opening this up, I like that the... Uh, you know, 
it stays open, so I do like that. And um, I'm going to put a 10 amp hour battery in just to show you um, that you know it, it can handle larger size batteries, and it still has plenty of room. So a 12 amp hour battery should have no issue. Now the 6 amp hour is right here on the right, so you can see the size difference. If we put the 6 amp hour in, you know, again, plenty of room. Okay, so let me take that out for now. And um, we're going to do a self repel demo in a little while. This battery has more of a charge, and my fiance is going to do that demo. But as you can see, that light, you can see it a lot better. It's a bigger, you know, uh, and you can see that light all the way from here. So I like that. Now the deck is polycarbonate, so you're used to that, right? The deli, the, the polycarbonate deck all around. And they use that in, uh, you know, pretty much all of the mowers except the steel ones. And again, you get the seven positions here. So this will go one and a quarter all the way to four inches. And again, real easy. Drop it all the way down to that single, which I've got a lot of grass right now, so it's not gonna work. I gotta cut this lawn one more time. But one would be one and a quarter, bring it all the way up, and that would be four inches. So not bad. Wheels are ball bearing, so they're really smooth. You got seven inches in the front, and you've got the nine inches in the back. Pretty similar to a lot of the current models at this point as well. All right, we're gonna take a look at handle height adjustments. Now I'm bending down just to kind of show you what the handle looks like, um, but that's at the highest right now. Let me go ahead and change it one more time so you can see the second and then we'll do the third. So that is the highest. Let's just pull the lever in one time, it drops down. Let's go back. You can kind of see it went down a little bit there. And the next one's really convenient for anyone that uh, is a little shorter. Just one more drop. So I like that the three settings on the handle, pretty standard, but you know, definitely, as you can see, goes down a lot more. So let's take a look at the controls here. And you can see here with self repel, this is the highest, and then it has click settings that you're not gonna be able to hear today, but you can go all the way to the slowest. So this is the slowest, which is not official, but it should be 0 0.9 miles an hour, all the way to 3.1 miles an hour. So uh, there it goes. And, um, you know, starting it up, you know, basically, you obviously have your start button here. You've got your bar here, and all you do is push this in, pull the bar, Starts the mower. Let go. Okay. And uh, for self propel, you know, and, and I'm going to probably hit that fence there. But self propel, very simple, right? It's on slow right now. So you can self propel it without engaging the motor. If you want to like run this to the shed or take it uphill without running the mower, all you're going to do is just push, pull this in. All right. That's it. Any side, right? or left, you know, depending on what make, what's convenient for you, right? Righties, lefties. And then you've got a light button here, and it has the same lights as the 2135 and the 2156. So it's got those same LED lights there in the front. Okay, I'll look that up for you there real quick. So you see there, so it's got, I think, three LEDs there, and it's got three LEDs here. So not bad, not bad for night. You know, and, and maybe when it's getting dark. All right, guys, 30 degrees. We're going to go ahead and show you the slowest speed. Let's self-propel. All right, honey. It's really slow. So it's supposed to be 0 0.9 miles an hour. That's what it's supposed to be, which is great, I guess, for someone older that just wants to mow and, you know, push a mower. You know, whatever. Nice and slow. This is really... It might be slower than 0 0.9 miles an hour. Okay. Okay, this is the fastest speed. I believe it's supposed to be 3.1 miles an hour. Let's go ahead. As you can see, drastically faster. Now, when you want to store this, 
all you do is pull out these clips on both sides okay once you do that this handle pushes down all right you're gonna lock it again all right just lock it again um, and there and then basically you just grab this guy here and push the handle up it'll drop one position and then that's good if you're removing the bagger and then you drop it again and it locks into place that way and what's nice is you can just grab this handle and kind of put it where you need to put it in your garage or whatnot so pretty nice now obviously we didn't take the battery out but you want to make sure that you take the battery out before you put this in storage mode and especially when the deck is exposed we're going to show you the deck in a few minutes but be careful all right i didn't pull the battery out but you need to before you lift this mower up because you know you want to be safe now the back of the mower really doesn't look very different they've got the rubber you know so when you put this in storage mode it'll basically you know sit on a you know let's just say you have a wood floor in your garage or you know whatever you don't have to worry about it being scratched so they thought of that and these are pretty thick and now if you're going to put the mulch plug in the mulch plug was changed just a little bit nothing major i noticed they put the branding here and uh so all we do is open this up take the mulch plug put it in and I, I do feel like that it feels tighter now I know it's a brand new mower but it does feel a little tighter than it normally would and there's where you're gonna mulch your grass let's check out the rear side discharge now when you're putting on the rear side discharge it's gonna discharge on the right of the mower right behind the back wheel okay as you can see here you've got these plastic pieces and so when you lift this up you're going to see that you've got grooves where the plastic pieces go in. So all you're going to do is take this and really kind of tilt it in initially, right? Just so you grab that spot. It'll pop into place. And this here actually locks right underneath here, all right? So, you know, you just want to hold this while you're pushing it down. And it is now locked into place. The, you know, cover actually keeps this in place. And then as you can see here, you now have a rear side discharge. Your grass will shoot out this way. I'm not impressed, I'll be honest with you. It's not a feature I use, but I find it to not throw far enough. Um, and I guess that could be the obviously the motor and all that stuff, because the motor is pretty powerful. But that is your rear side discharge put on. Now let's go ahead and put the bagger on. And the bagger is a two bushel bagger. And as far as grass capacity so again we're going to open this up we are going to take the metal bars right metal not plastic like some manufacturers use plastic here or sometimes they actually use plastic here now ego has stood with metal and that makes a big difference so when you're putting this on all you're doing is basically making sure that it grabs there it grabs there boom this is down and you're ready to rock and roll with your bagger now one thing I noticed besides the clear big display one thing I noticed with this model is it's got the handle here right but they remove the handle here again value right so they're you know you're not going to get everything with this mower because they're bringing the price down so no handle here you'd have to grab here which is fine there's actually a groove and I'll show you that let me take the battery out all right the battery is out let me go ahead and just tilt the mower on its side so you can see the actual groove that's now a handle so you see that there that's actually a handle so you could you, you can put your hand here uh, while you're lifting the mower so again very simple grab here let me zoom out a little more grab here and grab here and you can lift the mower up now so they've done that so that's something I noticed all right our battery is out let's go ahead and take a look under the deck now one thing I was surprised at was they actually gave you a gator blade which is known as a mulching blade so they included that in the box so normally they wouldn't but that's kind of nice to see that you're getting a gator blade now let's take some measurements real quick so let's measure the deck and, and the decks 21 inches you know you got a 21 inch deck basically right 21 inches the blade itself um, is a 20 inch blade right every time a 20 inch blade so 20 inch blade 
21 inch deck. Now, again, if I look at the deck efficiency here, I mean, this is really gonna make a nice, you know, uh, it's gonna really do a nice job when it comes to mulching because as long as you keep this deck clean and that blade sharp, I mean, this is nice. It doesn't have as much grooves. Um, you know, if you remember the 2156 and the 2135's got all those holes that you, and crevices that everything gets caught up in. So not bad, nice, nice job there. So uh, I like that. I definitely like the deck efficiency. Now, when we look at the bottom, and let's take a look at the bottom where the motor is. One of the things I'm doing is I'm using the Ego light at 10,000 lumen right now, just to put a little more light down here. You know, the, the rear drive is in each wheel, so it, you know each wheel has its own motor. And then, um, I don't know if this is the self-propel motor. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe this is just in combination. But I always look to see if there's any wires exposed. And I'll be honest, I mean, I don't really see anything. You know, this time around, I mean, everything is really tight. You know, this is covered. Um, there's really nothing to see. Even if I move the flap and look underneath, they have done a phenomenal job on this specific model as they move forward in making sure you can't see any clips or wires. And thanks to that light, I'll tell you, 10,000 lumen, even in the daytime, makes a difference. All right, folks, I'm not going to cut much. It is... 30 degrees it's probably less than that with the wind chill but i wanted to show you something all right i'm going to lift this up because the grass is a little higher i'm going to put this on a four i'll put the measurement up in the left hand corner so you know what a four is on this mower lift it up push the button in start the mower all right let's go ahead and drop it down single blade let's see what happens here So we're not cutting a lot, we're cutting enough. Okay, let's just take a look. Again, we're mulching and the lawn grew back. I'll tell you, you know, I'll tell you, this lawn was really bad this summer. So let's just take a peek. So uh, not bad, I mean, you can definitely see it mulched onto the lawn. Um, you know, definitely have, I definitely got some mulch, right? So, single blade, you know, as you can see here, right, there's a good amount that I'm cutting. You normally don't cut that much when you're mulching, but uh, I don't see stragglers, which is important, right? So it looks good. Simple. Did the job. Again, a lot of mulch, but no stragglers, no mohawks in this case. So that's not too bad. Go ahead and take the mulch plug out and put the rear side discharge. I always like showing that. So pull this out. Okay, here is the rear side discharge. Again, you just got to put that bottom piece in that little slot there. So just like this. Push it in. This bar will go on the top. It'll hold it in place. And now you're going to see why I'm not really a big fan of rear side discharge. I'm going to try to show you it coming out on the side. That's the thing I really want to show you. So I'm going to zoom in and uh, start this mower. Okay. And there it is in action, and I'm going slow. Looks like it's shooting a little better than it normally does. So, you know, the best demo I could do, I don't have a camera crew, guys. I'm still a small channel. Um, <laughs> it actually threw it a little bit better, though, I'll tell you, because in the past it would clump up. So, uh, you know, and obviously if you're going slow, you're going to give it an opportunity to clump up. But not as straight... As, as I, you know, you know, obviously on the on the left side there, you got the mulch. On this side here, you got, you know, just a side discharge. Very hard to see, but you know, you could see that it it definitely was throwing it on the side. And I was I was walking slow here. I started walking a little faster here. 
but again the cut I don't see stragglers I don't see mohawks it looks pretty good you know and in the middle I left this in the middle here so I could divide the sections from the mulch cut and the um, so, you know rear side discharge so you know in the middle here is uh, not cut so mulch versus side discharge you know again nice and clean you know the blade is uh, decent you know it's a good size blade it's a, you know the mulch blade I like that blade I'm a big fan of that one let me go ahead and bag now real quick we'll take a look at that real quick all right the bag is on and the mulch plug is out so again I'm gonna tilt this up in the long tire that wind is killing me all right it started now let's just bag no strain nothing like that we're not cutting too low just take a quick peek and uh, yeah I mean you can definitely tell you know there's no mulch Wow okay so um, I didn't get to do here because I lifted it up on here so but um, so you got now bag side discharge and mulch over there but look at the bag sides are real nice you know looks pretty nice I don't see anything major it's very clean you know so whatever and now what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe take those three sections and mow them real quick and bag them so you can actually see what it looks like let me set that up there you go I mean I didn't do this side here and I didn't do that corner there it did a pretty good job you know it doesn't have the suction of a high lift blade obviously you know but um, it did get up some leaves that was on the lawn you know so just taking a look at it here not bad I don't have anything major to other than my hands uh, freezing up a little bit <laughs> I don't have any complaints about any huge stragglers or anything like that so not bad guys you know for a single blade I definitely like my dual blade but uh, 599 with the battery in the charger quick evolution of the ego charger this is the slowest charger uh, rated around 200 some odd watts but this one came out this is the 320 320 watts this is included with this mower and then you you have an option of getting a dual charger from ego 
We'll always put links in the description, but you can charge two batteries on this. This is around 280 watts on each side. Then you've got a rapid charger, which is 550 watts. It does have a fuel gauge. Last, you have a 700 watt fast charger. Now, this has got the same fuel gauge that you'd have on a battery. You can connect this as well to the app, so you can actually get notifications that your battery is 75% charged, etc. And as you can see, most of them come with the fans to keep the battery cool, and especially towards the end of charging, you know, they, they have the fans, you know, and they blow the air on the battery. So there you go. This is the one that's included. So let me give you some basic information. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and give you the information on the comparison with the self-propelled models. Okay, how does this fit in with all the other self-propelled models? What's the difference? So first of all, basics. This is $599 MSRP, and that's with the battery and the charger. That's not bad. It's nice to see. Model number on this, LM2114SP for self-propelled. This is a three-in-one mower. You can bag, you can mulch, and you can rear side discharge as we showed you earlier in the video. It's a single blade system. Okay, it is not select cut. It doesn't have a dual blade. Um, it's a six foot pounds of torque as far as uh, cutting power is concerned. It is a rear wheel drive system. It'll cut up to 50 minutes with the included six amp hour battery is what Ego says. Uh, cutting height is one and a quarter to four inches. Now on self-propel, the information wasn't available, but it should be 0 0.9 miles an hour to 3.1 miles an hour. Weight on this is 50.7 pounds or 23 kilograms. It does come with a five-year warranty and then a three-year warranty on the battery and a three-year warranty on the charger. Now let's go ahead and go over the self-propelled model so you can see the differences. So let's go ahead and talk about how the LM2114 SP 2023 model compares. Let's start off with the new model coming out, which is the LM2167 SP. All right, so on the left side, we've got the 2167. On the right side, we've got the 2114. So obviously, the 67 SP is a select cut, so it's got the dual blade system. Cutting torque is 8.3 foot-pounds of torque versus 6. No load speed is not available yet. So the 2114 is 2,800 RPM. Cutting uh, capacity, they're both 21 inches. Now the 2167 SP, when that comes out, will be the top of the line. It'll have that new digital display with speed IQ. Now the 2114 really uses a bar system for self-propel. Battery included in the 67 is going to be 12 amp hours, so that's a big difference there. The charger included, I don't know yet, but as you can see in the 2114, we get the 320 watt. They're both IPX4, and the weight is not available for the 67 yet, but it is 50.7 pounds for the 2114. And that's it. Let's check out the next model. Let's compare it to the 2156 SP. So... As you know, the 2156 SP comes in two flavors. One is with two 10 amp hour batteries, and one is with one 10 amp hour battery, and that's really the only difference. But let's compare it to the 2114. Again, 2156 SP is a dual blade, right? It's a select cut mower, so it's got the dual blade system. As you can see, it's got the 8.3 foot pounds of torque, and again, that just helps you push through situations. Your um, no load speed is 2,900 RPM versus 2,800 on the uh, 2114. They're all 21 inch and the touch drive system for self-propel is on the 2156. And the LM2114 has the bar system. Battery included, 10 amp. Obviously with the 2114, you're getting a six amp. Charger included, you're getting the 700 watt charger with the 2156 SP. A big difference in how fast you can charge the batteries. They're all IPX4. And as you can see, without the batteries, the 2156 SP does weigh more. It's almost four pounds heavier. Compared to the 2142, the big difference here is definitely, you know, 8.3 foot-pounds of torque, right? 
but the 2142 also comes with two 5 amp hour batteries, so you're definitely going to get longer run time. The uh, 2142 also comes with a faster charger. It's a rapid charger, 550 watts. And if you look, I mean, that darn thing weighs about 12 pounds more. Now, this is one of my favorite mowers. I still have it. I, I've not gotten rid of it yet. This is a 2135 SP. And this was the first select cut that came out, right? The 2130, the 2135 SP. Uh, it is a dual blade select cut system, right? So single blade on the other model. Cutting torque, you're getting seven foot pounds of torque versus six. Uh, RPM, interesting. The new model is a little bit you know, has more RPM, 2,800 RPM versus this model. Cutting capacity, they're both 21 inches. This does have that touch drive system, so it's nice. And, you know, the other model here has the self-propel, you know, on the bar. Batteries included, you are getting a 7.5 amp on the 2135. Charger included, you're getting a 550 watt. They're both IPX4, and this does weigh about 5 pounds heavier. All right, another coming soon model, 21, uh, 2023. Big difference here, you know, this has the touch drive self-propel system. This has a 7.5 amp hour battery, a bigger battery, and it does come with a faster charger. It does come with the 550 watt charger. Weight is the same though, and cutting torque is the same. I believe this will be 699 if I'm not mistaken. All right, so for a hundred bucks more, you know, you're going to get the bigger battery, the touch drive, and the better charger. Okay, let's talk about the LM2102 SP. This has been around a while. It's still available. And compared to the 2114, well, the 2114 is going to drop more uh, cutting torque. Uh, no load speed is about the same. Uh, you know, again, 21-inch decks, right? Uh, they both have a bar self-propelled system. You are getting a 6 amp hour in the 2114. You're getting 7.5 amp hour in the 2102. You did get the faster charger in the 2102 also. And the 2102 SP does weigh about 12 pounds more. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found this review helpful. You know, we always try to stay ahead of the game. And when new models come out... So if it did help you in any way, give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel, guys, really. And uh, if you're new to the channel, take a moment and subscribe. We'd love to have you as a member of the family. All right, share our video with your friends, your family, maybe in your chat rooms, and follow us on social media. I'll put our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook up there. Guys, thanks so much. Keep warm and have a great day. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.